Baddest thing I say in a while Oh my shorty, oh She oh Hey guys, it's the Lilith Shane. I'm back with another YouTube video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Give this video a thumbs up. Ring that bell before the notifications to be the first to know when I upload a video. Cause you know your girl is lit and with the shits. And that's on period. So on today's story time, story time. You know my story times be lit. So make sure y'all like this video and give it a thumbs up for real, for real. And make sure y'all tell a friend, tell a friend, subscribe to your girl channel. Crazy on the road to 700 subscribers. We're trying to get it before the end of December. So, yeah. So, let's get into this video. Okay, today's story time is going to be about the time where I don't even know what the name of this video is going to be yet, but we're just going to jump right into it. I'll figure out the title later. I'll figure out the title later, and then y'all know. Okay, so basically, you know, when I was with my ex for five years, we was going through a lot of problems, and it was times like, you know, we would take breaks. Or like I'm not even gonna say I'm not even gonna call it cheating because I'm not a cheater. I don't believe in cheating. But it sounds more like you know it's you know it's like you know when like you deal with somebody for so long and like all you do is argue, 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 and like so anything they do gets in your nerves and it's like you physically there but emotionally and mentally you left that relationship so that's what this was in this situation like we really wasn't seeing eye to eye we wasn't on good terms nothing so yeah i'll call it what y'all want to call it but that's what it was so during the 22nd now that i'm looking at the date obviously we was going through something during the 22nd that's the beginning of 2020 yeah so um i have this other ex he's gonna be ex number two but I'm gonna call him Ken in the video. And then gonna be Ken. So, you got X and you got Ken. Because I'm two people that I'm gonna talk about today. Well, Ken is someone I used to be with, and let's chill with, when I was younger, probably like around 16, 17, 15. I really think 14, 15, and 16. Somewhere around that month. That was back, back in 2015, 14, 16, probably. Anyways, I was in the zoo named Ken. And. You know, I was young at the time, we was young, but the relationship was good. It was another situation like where basically he was a good guy and I used to leave him for the bad guys. That's what the situation was. But like he was a good boyfriend. We had a good connection, like we still friends and we're good friends to this day. So during the second he had texted me down long time to see how you doing. So like I said, I was going through something at the time and it's the fact that he texted me because like I always had two people that I always say I regret doing wrong and I knew like if I was in a relationship with them I don't feel like it will be no wrong doing like it will be good and that was Ken and somebody else and I might do a story time to another dude I might I don't know but Ken was one of the people so like, when he texted me I was like happy as fuck like oh my god like Ken texted me so I was like good living life working what about you he said taking care of his son he got a son or whatever and like we were just chopping it up and we were talking about the old sons he was like you know i told him like you know i'm on with somebody but it's complicated because we're going through some i told him that he had like a certain date until x this is i'm talking about x to him until x like had a certain date until i was about to leave him because like no i was going through so much shit with this nigga like over it so like i'm trying to think i'm not about to read word from word like what the messages is about and all that but I know you hear this part. He says, because I thought you still was with light-skinned nigga. And I'm sorry that I had a son. That shit wasn't even planned to have one. But he's still the best man at the end of the day. So, yeah, like, he already knew about light skin. Like, he already said, like, that's what I'm going to call him. Well, he, he ate, but light skin. That's what he called him. That's what he called him. But, um, like, he used to say, like, he used to always want to hit me up. But he seen, like, I was always posting my nigga at the time. So, like, he never really you know try anything and he seen my youtube video but he's in the last video youtube video where i said i was single and something like that i don't know but this is before i had posted the single video so long story short i'm trying to figure out when he said he was going to be done because we had even talked in the whole february if i'm not mistaken another thing i like about him he sent me a paragraph like of everything that like we did when we was younger like when, when like where we had our first kiss at like when we first started seeing each other like he remember all that and i if a man can remember that i don't care i feel like 
people fuck with you because you know niggas not remembering the first kiss the first date y'all got together like the last time y'all stopped talking they don't remember that so if a nigga can remember that that means you must be very important to him like he's still thinking about that shit and he even told me like every time he see me on snapchat he think about me but it's like you know i was with somebody so let's see he wanted me to even move up there with him but like i said i was dealing with ex so you know i was telling him like you know if me and ex don't work out then i'll move up there we can figure this out now but at the same time i'm about to jump and two something but at the same time like i said ken was always a good dude so i would i wouldn't have mine moving in with him it just me picking up my whole life just moving in with somebody and you never know what's gonna happen so um oh he always told me i was his first love i am his first love he always told me that um, and he still told me that he loved me, you know, I'm real big on love. Like, you know, most niggas that I talk to from the past that's like, you know, end up coming to the present, they be stuck on like the old times. I don't be stuck on that because I really don't remember none of that. I like to build new memories. So like when they tell me they love me, stuff like that, I can't say that bad because like, I maybe I, I love you then, but this is a new me now. Like you, like I'm not the same little girl no more. I'm like, I'm not about to tell you I love you. Like I haven't talked to you, I haven't seen you in a long time, you know? So it's not like I'm not saying like, I don't fuck with you. It's just, I got to see where your vibe at now. Like we're older now, we're not young no more. Like, you know? So that's for he got a baby mama or whatever. So when we was talking, his baby mama had come on his pictures. So I ended up texting him like, we was already texting, but he didn't text me back. So when I seen that, I was like, yeah, this nigga trying to play me. So I ended up texting him. We kind of like got into it because he was like, you know, baby mama's do baby mama shit. They petty as fuck. He don't fuck with his baby mama. You know, he just take care of his kid. And I ain't gonna lie, I probably was. I ain't gonna say I lie properly because I, I apologize for it. I was wrong. I shouldn't have been tripping because at the same time, like, I'm with some money and you're not even my nigga. You know, we just started talking. I should have done it. But you know, I'm still not trying to get played, so I had to say something. So March 3rd, I texted him, said, What you doing this weekend? He said, Coming to Wilmington and shooting a video. I said, Oh, okay, cool. You know, my birthday next week, so I'm going to Murder Beach. You want to pop out or what? Now, I know y'all like, How the fuck is you inviting this dude and you still with X? I told y'all, like, I was really, I did not care at this moment. Like I said, Kim was making me feel good. I been new Kim before I even knew X. And me and X was going through some shit, and I was not fucking with it. And it's my birthday. I'm not about to be with somebody that's talking to and, you know, draining me. And we probably going to argue. No, I'm not doing that. So, yeah. Call it toxic. Call it what you bone. I was doing me. He said, okay, you know how I'm coming. So, I ended up telling him, like, the dates and stuff and, you know, all that about the murder beach. So I said, just let me know when you're down here. And I told him where it was at. He said, who going? Because my boys can come with me. So I told him. And he said, he can probably bring me. Probably one or two boys. Never been March 5th. People, the people I feel like going on a trip with Murder Beach. They, like, all my friends, they look some bullshit. Like, people didn't have money at the time. But I've been to them this, like, in advance. And they still didn't have no money. And I was really pissed on my birthday because I really want to go to Murder Beach. Like, the Dunes Resort. Like, that's the best hotel I feel like it is. And I haven't been there since I was a kid. And I want to go there. But, and I already had paid for the whole fucking trip. Like, I was pissed, y'all. And I never ended up going. But I ended up doing something, like, with my little friends or whatever. It was all right. But it wasn't, like, what I wanted to do. So, March 5th, I said, um, it was canceled. And he was like, March 9th, he texted me, he said, I'm down here. So, I said, sorry, I'm sleeping right now, but I'm going to text you later, okay? So, March 10th, my birthday, he said, okay, you at work at 2.50 a.m. And then he come. He come, like I said, me and my ex were staying together at the time. So, I couldn't really answer no calls. And I ain't going to lie, sometimes when I was texting Ken, I was, like, scared to text him because, you know, I didn't want him to look over and see me texting him. I didn't want my phone to pop up with notifications and stuff. Not notifications, notifications, whatever. Um, I didn't want that none of that to happen. And I didn't want to get in suit with him. And then we break up and then nothing happened with me and Ken. You know, so I bitch I was sneaking. I wasn't trying to get caught. So he called me at 13 in the morning. I said, no, I'm sleeping. Got to get up in the morning. Got to go to work. Talk to you tomorrow. So he said, okay. So then he says me happy birthday. I said, thank you. And I said, what you doing right now? He said, nothing. What's up? This is the next day. So I'm having a party tonight at 8. I was having a party the day of my birthday at my aunt crib. And then I was going to Murder Beach on the weekend. So he said, okay, send me the Eddie. I'll slide. I sent him the Eddie. He said, okay. He said, I mean, he said, who are all there? I said, I'm not about to name everybody but people. He called me March 10th. Okay, so this is the my party. I'm with my friends. I put some videos up. I was cute. Bad bitch, you know me. For my birthday, I turned twenty. I can't wait to turn twenty one next year. I'm doing a big. Y'all gonna see my vlog. Y'all gonna see me like tw next year. A bitch is going big and all out, like no stops, all breaks, no gas. 
So, yeah, I was chilling with my friends or whatever. He had told me he was outside. So, I, bitch, I was happy. Like, I was happy for real. I'm telling you, like, this is something, like, I always had a bond with. Like, it was never, like, nothing. No bad blood. We lived from no bad blood. We didn't really have problems in our relationship like that. So, you know, I was happy to see. It was a new vibe. You know how, like, you dealing with a nigga and got out on good terms and you find a boss that like, you used to connect with? You know, it's a new vibe, you know? So, I was like, you want me to come outside? He said, you can't be smoking real quick. I said, we can smoke in here. He said, I know. So, I ended up going outside to see him and his best friend. And we walked in the house. And, you know, we ended up, um, my friend actually took a video of us and posted. And, um, we were just sitting there chilling, vibing. And, you know, we didn't really do too much because, like, my friends was there. And they are like, damn, how was he there and your ex? You know, y'all was still together. I told him to stay home. I did not want him at my birthday party. Plus, I told him it was going to be all girls, which it was. But I had told Ken to come. And nothing had happened. I was like, you just imagine if you would have popped up and Ken was there. Like. But, yeah, so he ended up leaving. And um, he told me I look good. And I said, thank you. I know. He said, I said, I know you wish I was your girl. He said, trust me, you still is. We just got stuff to work on. I said, we definitely do, but you going to Murder Beach Friday night? He said, yes, of course. He was like, you had me blushing the whole time sitting next to you. I said, for me to be your first love. Okay, let me not. Okay. Mm, let's see. He said, you gave me butterflies for blushing because I haven't seen you in a long time. Man, I don't fucking know, but it was weird. Then all your friends kept staring at me. I ain't gonna lie, it was like that, butterflies. Like, we haven't seen each other in years. Like, when I say years, I've seen each other since we was kids, so I'm pretty sure it was butterflies on both parts. Um, he was just telling me that he wanted to hug me, squeeze me, cause it was cold outside. That's why he was saying squeeze me. Okay, so March 11th, he came to see me again at my house. Um, but you know he was outside with his friends, so I was in the car with him to go smoke. That was another cheeky situation, but at the same time, my ex was at work, so. It was all good. I went outside. And so we was chilling. We had a good time. We hugged and all that. And I went in the house. Okay, so the next, well, the next, I don't want to say the next day, but the weekend that I was supposed to go to Murder Beach, I had, you know, like I said, you know, going to my friend's house and we had like a little situation, party, whatever, little kickback. And he was supposed to come, but like he had a lot going on. And when he did come, I was already gone. And I told you I was going to go to Murder Beach that night. So he was texting me and calling me like, you know, we still didn't go to Murder Beach because honestly, if you wouldn't be technical, he really could have took me to Murder Beach that night. I really could have still went to Murder Beach that night, but I know for a fact, like, I was already home. And I don't even know if I told X that Murder Beach was canceled. I just know I told him that nobody had the funds or something like that. I don't, I don't even think I told him about that. I think I just told him that, you know, they threw a party for me, so I'm going to go to that. I didn't even think I even told him Murder Beach was canceled, but he knows I was going to Murder Beach and he wasn't going. It was just me and my friend. So, like I said, Ken was texting me, calling me, asking about where Murder Beach was going to go. Like I said, I really could have went if I would have went with him. But if I would have went with him, then all hell would have broke loose that night because I know X would have been calling me and I would have been with Ken. And then if I didn't answer his calls, he'd have been like, I was on some BS. That's how X was, like, very insecure, like, over the board top. Yeah, over the top, all that. So... I knew it was a hard choice for me to make because if I would have went, I would have had some splinter again. So I just didn't go. I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of sad because I feel like if I would have went that night, me and Ken probably been together. And it's crazy because me and X not even together no more. Like, that's why I look, me and X not even together. Like, and that's another thing. Because me and Ken, we don't talk no more. But it's not like that. It's because, like, he stayed far away, about like three or four hours away. And, like, right now, he's just on his ground, like, he rapping, he be, like, some famous rappers, and, you know, he got a son and stuff to take care of, so I understand. So, I'm not even mad about that. I do wish, like, we still had, like, some kind of communication where we can talk here and there, but he be really busy, so, like, I don't do that. We don't talk at all. But he's, he told me that, um, you know, once he gets stuff together, he want to be with me, but it's, like, I don't know. It's like it's not like I don't have a problem waiting, but I'm not gonna wait. But it's like I'm single, so it's like it really don't matter, you know, type thing. So it's like, I feel like it's meant to be. We'll end up fighting each other again. I say Ken's a good dude. I want my being with him. It's just we don't really talk like that, and we can't really see each other. Like unless one of us get a car. So I got my DMV thing coming up the end of this month. 
so hopefully like you know if i get a car i can drive up there one time to see them and we can see like where it goes but if not then you know it is what it is so i really good about something to be is gonna be and it's not it's not so like i said i don't know the title of this story time yet but y'all see it when i post it but i hope y'all like this story time i'm uh, like I'm, i keep trying to think of more story times with this y'all because y'all like my story times and you know i'll be going through some shit in my lifetime i will do a story time on this nigga situation that i just had but i don't know yet but i'll let y'all know but make sure you subscribe hit that button hit that like button we never post notifications to be the first to know about the video and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to the to subscribe to my channel because your girl is lit and with the shit and I'm on PP. And I'm out. Oh, you're the baddest thing I've seen in a while. Oh, my shorty. Oh, she owns.